Hello everybody, I hope that y'all have been doing well during these troubling quarantine times, um, but the the officers of the Austin High Theater Department have gotten together um, to maybe lift everybody's spirits a little bit by trying to teach them about one aspect of their lives or something that they feel like they're good at um, that you all might find useful as well, that's our hope. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you a, granted fairly specific, but effective method of pirating music and uh, before you get into the legality of it, I've never run into any problems with it, um, and all of the music that I, I get from um, YouTube is fair. I'm pretty sure it's unlicensed, and you're not going to get into any trouble for um, going ahead and downloading it. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, oh, also, I, I apologize about my microphone quality. I don't have a microphone hooked up to the phone. I haven't been able to figure out how to do that. Um, but yeah, for the four Apple Music users in the Austin High Theater Department, uh, let's let's get right along. So the first thing that you're going to uh, want to do is identify the song that you're going to download that you do not have access to on Apple Music. Um, now what I'm going to be doing is Ra, 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 Sputin, uh, but it gets faster by 5% every time you say Ra. And also, I, it's Rasputin. I don't know. I didn't say it right, but I think it's funny. So I'm going to go ahead and press the share button, copy the link. Now, you're going to want to go. Oh, also, uh, I'm going to be using an application called eDownloader. You can see it up there in the upper right. Now, eDownloader is no longer available on the App Store. Um, so if we search up eDownloader, it's not going to be there. But And say that. Did I say that right? Anyway, um, there are plenty of other applications that do the exact same thing to file managers um, that are able to download things from the internet onto your phone uh, just for easy um, access. So I'm sure any of those uh, will do a, a fantastic job of working around any troubleshooting issues that you're not going to find like perfect consistencies between eDownloader e and um, those those other applications. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into eDownloader with that copied link. Now, um, your file manager should work uh, like this. It should have a search engine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube to MP3 uh, with that search engine. And I like to use the top one for convenience. So we're going to hop into there. And you're going to get a little display that looks like this. So paste it and convert it. You're going to want to make sure that you're converting it to an mp3 file. Uh, so it verified that that is the correct uh, video. Ra Ra Rasputin. Right, right. Somebody's going to get mad at me for pronouncing that wrong. Going to click download. Download. Now I'm sure that's really loud for you. Pause it. Okay, cool. So did you catch that? You press download and then download again. And once again, there might be some inconsistencies, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to work around them. Press the little three bars. Now this, I'm pretty sure, is going to be universal across all task manager platforms or um, file manager pl platforms. Uh, you're going to want to open your downloaded file in. You're going to want to save it to files. right? So click that open in and then save it to files. Now you're going to get this right to begin with. So go into On My iPhone, GarageBand for iOS, and then you're going to click GarageBand File Transfer. Now save it there. All right, you're done with your uh, File Manager app for now. You're done with YouTube. You can get out of those. You're only going to want to go to GarageBand. Now, once again, you do need GarageBand, and you do need Apple Music on your phone. So um, open a new song, and uh, this is important. Do an audio voice uh, song, OK? Now, it should take you to this fantastic GarageBand display, which is wonderful. Uh, now, you're going to go ahead and turn off the I am not musically inclined. I don't know what this is called. Hopefully, you can see me turning it on and off. Turn that off so it's gray. Uh, it just, you know, a measure, something like that. So, uh, go to the uh, plus sign in the upper right-hand corner. Click the plus sign, right? Now, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and change this uh, from 8 bars to about, I mean, 150 bars, more than that maybe, depending on the length of your song. This is just to give you space uh, to copy and paste in your, um, your, your audio file. So see the little loop icon with a 1 next to it? That means that you have one new file 
uh, saved to GarageBand file transfer. Uh, now this is all the files that I've that I've transferred up till now. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. Ra ra Rasputin. See there you go. It's, it only takes about half of the space. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and check to make sure this is right. Excuse the excuse the voice. <laughs> the correct song everything's all good I meant to say excuse the noise so uh, 72 bars we're gonna go ahead and take this down to 72 bars da, 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 72 okay uh, and then that should all be working out fantastically you don't need to do anything else but I will say that if you want to edit this audio file at all you can go ahead and do so by like splitting and deleting sections of it uh, you can also use this to mix uh, you know, uh, mix songs together and whatnot. So yeah, that's also a, another use for this. Go to my songs, so you can exit out of this. You're good. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and rename it to uh, Ra Ra. Oh no, not Ta. We're just gonna do Raspu Teen, right? So just go ahead and name it for uh, organization's sake. Uh, now press and hold on it. Press the share icon. Uh, you're gonna want to save it as a song under the highest quality iTunes Plus. Press share. Now uh, slide over to mail, and then go ahead and this takes a second for it to export. My apologies. Da -da 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 -da. I hope I covered everything. All right, wonderful. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and email this to yourself. Don't email it to Rand Woodfield. That would be stupid. Email it to yourself. Um, but because I am Rand Woodfield, I am emailing it to Rand Woodfield. Uh, the subject is going to be the name of the song, just for, once again, organization. Uh, and yeah, nothing else matters. It just matters that you have the audio file on um, the, the email. Go ahead and send it, and then I'm going to meet you over on my desktop computer for the rest of this tutorial. All right, so uh, we are now at my home computer, my desktop screen, uh, following many trials and tribulations and literally a day later. Um, this is not my first take of this either. But um, yeah, so we have finally gotten my screen recording app to work. So without further ado, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and find that email that once again was sent to me yesterday, but it should have been sent today. Um, that's what I titled it. Um, and you're gonna go ahead and just download that audio file um, so yeah, there it is, um, and then once it's done, you're going to just say show in folder. <laughs> Here's all of my, uh, my pirating music from yesterday because I got, got into the groove with making this, this video again. So you're going to go ahead and, um, click on your file, right click on it and say open with, and you're just going to go ahead and open it up with your iTunes app on your home computer. Um, oh. That's playing in my ear very loudly. Let's turn that down. Um, so yeah, now you should have, uh, th like this is the only application that you're gonna need to open anymore, but you should have this little GarageBand album art at the top here. That means that it's a file that you have downloaded from GarageBand. And it's gonna go ahead and try to fill in all the default information with you as the artist and it's gonna be your album. But if you go ahead and, oh actually the, this is gonna be in just one second. You're gonna first go ahead and say, add to iCloud Music Library. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Maybe this is just something weird with me, but I always have to go ahead and click it twice. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, and so it should, I don't know. It's added to your library now, even though it doesn't say it. It'll recognize that in just a second and update the HUD. But anyway, uh, yeah, so now you can go ahead and add it to all your playlists, whatever, <laughs> I have too many playlists, but anyway. Um, what you're really interested in here is song info. So you're gonna go ahead and pull this up and then you can access all of the information um, with your song. So you can go ahead and add the artist name. We're just gonna say, I mean, I don't know. yeah, sure, Rand Woodfield. But, uh, oh, yeah, so you, so you can go ahead and add all of um, the artist information, the uh, year it was released, the track number, so all of that information will appear across all of your devices. And the other thing to mention is that now once you pull this up on your phone, if your iCloud account is synced, which it should be, um, then you can go ahead and pull up Apple Music and this will be in your library. Um, and any changes that you make, as long as you hit OK, will um, 
be saved to both this computer and to your phone. Um, so you can go ahead and add artwork. I will say that since it is album artwork, you're going to want to make sure that um, it is in the square uh, format, um, that the aspect ratio is square and not something else, um, just so that it you know looks nice and pretty. Um, you can add your own custom lyrics. Uh, just look up the lyrics to your song on the internet and just paste them in here if you want. Uh, but yeah, those, those are just detailed things. Now you have the file, you have it named, um, so there's nothing stopping you from listening to your favorite song on Apple Music and adding it to all of your playlists, even though it wasn't formally released there in the past. So, um, I thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope that it helped you. Um, once again, one of the four Apple Music users out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a very handy um, little set of tricks that I've just kind of figured out how to do, and um, I hope that it helps you in your future endeavors. Alright, thank you very much, and I hope that you continue to stay safe. Bye!